Hello, 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 good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's perspective for what will be a terrific Tuesday. It is the last Tuesday of the month, and it is a wonderful sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Mary. Okay, so listen. Well, let me start out by saying, for those of you who this may be your first time joining me or, you know, someone shares it and you see me, I will be with you for a few moments every Monday through Friday, 5.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, just to share a perspective. It's my perspective, um, but I am hopeful that it will help you on your journey to becoming the best version, hey Elliot, the best version of who you were designed to be. All of us have a purpose in this life and I know very clearly my purpose is to um, impact lives. Decades ago I made a mission statement that said, if I cannot impact a life, if I cannot make a difference in a life, then I've wasted mine and I with every ounce of my being believe that that is my God-given gifted purpose in this life. It shows up in a lot of different um, lanes, but that is my purpose. I always, I want us, I want us to become the best version of who we were designed to be. We have so much life available to us. And sometimes we narrow ourselves and limit ourselves to very small lanes of life. And, and I know we can do more, be more, get more um, than typically where we are, even if we got it good, even if we have a good life, good marriage, your finances straight, you're healthy, there are levels to this thing. Okay, but okay, so that was just the intro, but that's not what I want to talk to you about. I wanted to just stop by and say, oh, Colonel Taylor, so good to see you out there. I trust you are, Oki is treating you well, I trust. But listen, this is what I want to stop by and say that do not be afraid, do not be intimidated, do not feel less than. Do not feel unworthy, any other negative connotation you can think of. Do not feel intimidated by surrounding yourself intentionally with extraordinary people. And too often, the people in our minds who we put above, a level above us, they're bigger, they're greater, they're faster, they're, small, they're smarter, we sort of shrink away from them and and like, you know, like a kid will peek through the, the glass. They won't go in the house, but they'll peek through the window. It's sort of like we do that in life with extraordinary people. And, and I'm encouraging you to be intentional about surrounding yourself with extraordinary. Extraordinary doesn't necessarily mean everybody knows their name and they're rich and they're the famous. No, you get to decide what you're calling extraordinary. But the people in your life who are smarter, you can't be the smartest one in your circle. That, you, you just, if I'm the smartest in my circle, my circle is too small. It's too small. I got, I've got to expand. I cannot grow. I cannot um, become better, faster, stronger, more effective in a bubble. So I, I need rabbits like you. You need rabbits in your life to go after. Be intentional about surrounding yourself with extraordinary people. They will make you bigger. They will make you better. They will stretch you. They will challenge you. And anybody who's afraid to be challenged because it's uncomfortable or you don't want to be embarrassed or, oh my goodness, I don't want to, I don't want to, um, uh, I don't want people to think, that you're not what you really are or you don't want people to think less of you or you, I don't want nobody to know I can't do that. I promise you that is such small thinking that will keep you in, in a lo on lockdown. It'll keep you there. Who cares what 
someone else thinks about you, especially if it's not true. You're not dumb. I don't care if you don't know this particular lane of information. That doesn't make you dumb. That doesn't make you less than. Too often we equate a title with intellect. We equate a, um, a position with value and worth. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. It doesn't make me less valuable as a woman, as a person, as a mother. It doesn't make me less worthy because I don't know something or I don't have this title. That is absolute foolishness. So I'm encouraging you to surround yourself. Be intentional about it with extraordinary. Who makes you better? Who, who do you say, oh, I like the way she treats her mother. I could do better. That's what you need to surround yourself with. I like the way their family operates. Oh my goodness. I like the way he handles his money. I mean, he making what I'm making, but he's doing more with his money. You need to surround yourselves with those kind of extraordinary people. And if your answer was, I ain't got nobody in my circle like that then you need to, first of all, broaden your circle. But I'm saying even broaden your circle electronically. This this like phenomenal thing called the internet, <laughs> it's like amazing. You could be learning from somebody in Kenya, Australia, Paris, or the Greek Isles today. We're no longer on lockdown or handcuffed by our neighborhood, by our zip code unless you want to be. So I'm just I'm just encouraging you if we are especially as and I'm I'm about to get go hard on those of you who come to me um in these perspectives for these last 3 months of the year. 2020 has been extraordinary. It has been extraordinary. If you haven't learned from 2020, if 2020 has not made you better, if 2020 has not made you stronger, even if you had to dry some tears, if 2020 hasn't challenged you, you are living under a rock. I know I was talking earlier, hello, Bertel Crawford Brown. I know I was talking earlier about somebody that makes you better, stronger, faster, more effective. 2020 should be making you better, stronger, faster. 2020 should be making you um, dig deeper. 2020 should be demanding more of you. So yeah, these last three months, oh, ho, ho, we're about to go to school. 2020 is going to be my, my professor, especially this last quarter as we get ready to go into 2020. So I'm hopeful that you are ready to roll your sleeves up, Get your pen and paper, your laptop, whatever you're going to take notes on, because 2020 has some few things to teach us, quite a few things to teach us. So I'm going to be sharing some of the things 2020 has taught me. Don't let this time pass you by. Be intentional about surrounding yourselves with extraordinary people. Okay, that's my perspective. That's what I got for you. Thank you for joining me. If if this helped you, if this made you think differently, if this gave you a different perspective about um, 2020, don't keep me a secret. Now look at, let, let me tell you like this. I'm not trying to get internet famous or else I would be doing stuff a whole lot different than in my haven. <laughs> I would be doing something different. But I am trying to live out my purpose. My purpose is to impact lives. If I cannot impact a life, then I've wasted mine. And I don't intend to do that. Okay. Thanks for joining me. I will see you here Monday through Friday. Hey, Sister Roan. I'll see you here Monday through Friday, 5.30 a.m. Pacific time. Until next time, take real, real good care of yourselves.